Byron Aloysius Lee, the Dragon. Byron Lee was undoubtedly one of Jamaica's finest musical ambassadors, and with 46 years of experience and over 150 awards, he commanded respect and admiration worldwide. Lee was born in Christiana, Manchester, son of a father from Kowloon, China, and a black Jamaican mother. He moved to Kingston at age eight, and although he had some early training as a pianist, it was not until he began attending St. George's College that music really became his focus. From my mother, who was of African descent, I received the soul, rhythm, and love of music, and from my father, who was Chinese, I received my shrewd business sense, Byron Lee. Football was his first love, and scoring goals was what he did best. However, after the game, Byron and some of the boys got together, and with some crude instruments, which included a door, a box for a drum, spoons, a grater for percussion, and Byron Lee with an antique guitar harmonized. It was at St. George's that the Dragoneers was formed in 1957. Two years later, they had a big hit song, Dumplings. which was produced by Siaga for his West Indies Records label. During the early 1960s, he bought the West Indies Records Limited and transformed it into the hugely successful Dynamic Sounds, which became the largest music distributor in the Caribbean. In 1964, the Dragoneers were chosen as the backing band for Millie Small, Jimmy Cliff, and Eric Monty Morris at the World's Fair in New York City. They won over middle-class fans by playing in swanky clubs and with radio-friendly hits like Jamaican Ska. In 1965, Byron, along with Ronnie Nasrallah and Victor Sampson, created Lee Enterprises, which produced hit shows which included mega stars such as The Drifters, Jerry Butler, Chuck Jackson, Billy Stewart, King Curtis, Sammy Davis, James Brown, and Al Green. Big acts like The Rolling Stones and Paul Simon recorded at Dynamic Studios in the early 70s. There have been more popular and more talented bands than Barons at one time or another. But to be able to hold a band together for 43 years is no easy feat. In 1990, one of Lee's biggest goals was realized when he started Jamaica Carnival. However, in 1998, he semi-retired from Carnival, but due to the special occasion of the 10th anniversary celebration, Byron decided to return from retirement in 1999 to once again lead the organization of a parade, the likes of which has never been seen in the history of Jamaican Carnival. As Kia evolved into rock steady, then reggae, Lee drifted from Jamaican pop music. The Dragoneers scored heavily with Calypso songs and regularly played events like Trinidad Carnival alongside his great friend, the Mighty Sparrow. With Jamaica Carnival, Lee returned to the domestic music scene. The Dragoneers had hit songs with dancehall acts like Admiral Bailey, while big name performers such as Shaggy and Sean Paul have performed at the event. He was inducted into his college's Hall of Fame for his contribution to the development and growth of the music industry. During Trinidad Carnival 2001, 
Byron was honored by the Caribbean Brass Festival organization for his contribution to the music industry. Lee's career spanned more than 50 years and he is credited with being one of the leading musicians to bring Jamaican music to the world. Lee was perhaps the most well-known Jamaican band leader in the world. The soccer icon died on Tuesday, November 4, 2008 at the Tony Thwaites wing of the University Hospital of the West Indies after a year-long fight with transitional cell cancer. He had been diagnosed with bladder cancer two years ago. Former Prime Minister Edward Siaga and longtime friend of Lee said he had no equal when it came to using music to merge Jamaican society. Quote, what I note most about Byron is that he was, was the ambassador who took downtown music uptown that was scare, unquote. Then he created a festival which brought uptown and downtown together again. That's quite an achievement, Siaga added. The family of the Honorable Byron Lee Sr., OJ, regretfully confirms that he passed away peacefully today. The dragon's daughter, Julian Lee Samuels, told the Gleaner, He fought a very brave battle with cancer and was in hospital surrounded by his family and close friends. He will be remembered not only as an excellent musician, but as a very kind, generous, humble and talented man who was always working to use music to unite persons of all ages, races and people from all walks of life. Lee is survived by his wife Sheila, sons Byron Jr., Edward John, daughters Diana, Judith, Julianne, and Daniel, as well as grandchildren Amelia, Alexander, Jessica, Victoria, Amanda, Jaden, and Dylan. Lee was known for his hits as Tiny Whiny and was recently conferred with the Order of Jamaica during a special ceremony at the hospital. He was given the award by the Governor General, Sir Kenneth Hall, and the Prime Minister. The Order of Jamaica is the nation's fourth highest honor. Lee was awarded the Order of Distinction Officer Class in 1982. That honor was upgraded to Commander Class in 2007.